Hello, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. And in this little segment, I'm going to talk about stocks trading below the 50 day moving average. You know, <clears throat> the way I come from trading is from a technical standpoint and a trend following standpoint. Um, basically, before I start, just a you know, quick, there's a quick uh, disclosure here that basically everything I'm talking about is educational only. But basically, what you want to do is you want to trade the stock market. You want to be long when it's glean to be healthy. I have an indicator called Andrew Abraham Buy. And you can see when the market is healthy, according to my indicator, I have green bars. When it becomes a little bit questionable, they're yellow. And when they're red, they get it's negative. And you can see, even going back to 2007, let's jump back to here. Let's... One second, let's make it a little bit tighter. And you could have avoided the whole, let's say, debacle of 2007 and 8, this nightmare here, by just staying in line with the trend and with this indicator. And you could see it wasn't on a buy, and it was red here. But anyway, I want to talk to you about trend following. What does it mean? Basically on my screen, I always have a 200 day exponential moving average and a 50 period exponential moving average. If I'm below a 200 day moving average, I do not want to be involved in a stock at all. I mean, I would be out and if anything, potentially short. The idea is when you're above a 50 period moving average, you're living above it. So there's a propensity for the, for, the, for the stocks to be healthy. And you can see just on this example, this is called Ultra, which is they have a chain of beauty stores. But look what happened here when it took out, this is again the 50 period moving average. The bars took, turned red. And look at this loss that someone could have had. You went from 118 all the way down to about 80. So when you're below a 50 period moving average or a 200 day moving average, you don't want to be long this stock. The only time you really want to be long any stock is when it's above a 50 period moving average. And look at the difference. And let's do Alibaba. This is like in one of the more recent ones or Facebook. We can do Facebook, those two. Let's just open them up, tighten up Facebook. And again, if you have meta stock, I'll gladly send you these indicators. I also have a discount. I'm a, I'm a reseller for, for Meta stock. But the idea is you can see we're above a 50. This is a perfect entry here. I mean, hindsight's always easy. You had 365 million shares on this gap up day. You stayed above the 50 period moving average all the way up into here. And this trade was basically, you would have been in at around 34 ish. And you would have been exiting when it closed above the 50 period moving average. You can also see these bars turn red. This is what the idea is. When you're above it, you want to be in. When you're below the 50 period moving average, not looking so great. You should not be involved in that stock at that time. Very clear. Again, let's do Alibaba. Alibaba is an interesting one because we've been above, but actually we don't have enough data for that. This is only a 10 period, I believe, yeah. And you want to be in the strongest stocks, in the strongest sectors, when the market's healthy. The other thing I suggest, let me just show you another thing, because I had this question posed to me the other day, is I only look at a handful of stocks. That's it. I want to understand stocks that I understand. And it's almost like the Peter Lynch principle, or the you know who ran the Fidelity Magellan idea, that I want to be in companies that I understand, that I can get, and understand what they do. Again, like Zoe's which is a food chain. But again, I'm below a 50, so I don't want to be in it. Let's look at this one. Let's, what else do we have here? Here I have uh, GoPro. Again, green you're in, red you're out, green. Or LinkedIn. You're above a 50. This is a tremendous move. Actually, I was in this trade. And just to show you that, you know what? It's very challenging being trading that basically got in here, bought at the highs, bought a little more as I scaled in, and the trade really just didn't work. So, again, it really didn't work here. 
This is what trading is. It's never easy. Now, that's the whole idea why I started Trend Following Mentor. And actually, I wrote a book called The Bible of Trend Following, which is right here. You can pick it up in, on Amazon. And The Bible of Compounding Money is learn how to trade with rules. Learn to be able to follow your rules. Um, have a short course. I also do hourly consulting. A lot of it's psychology, actually, and help people to, to make their, their trading plan. Because, again, don't think that this is easy. And it's not just buying a stock and buying and hold. You need to know when to be in the stock market, what stocks to buy, how much to buy, and when to exit. That's everything that I try to help you with. Again, you can email me. These indicators, these basically, it's, a, it's an expert advisory. I'll gladly give it to you. Um, also with, um, actually I don't have it on here, the, there's a, actually um, for the indices, well, let me just put one on real quick, uh, here. Again, if you have Metastock, I'll gladly give you this indicator, and it tells you when you can be in the market. It's not perfect, because nothing's perfect, but because when you, when you have a decline, you don't know how bad it can really get. Again, like if you want to use the 2000, you know, like eight approach, but you're in line with the market. Again, you can email me. I'll gladly send you this indicator. If there's any way or anything you need me to help you with, gladly. Thank you very much.